So have you heard the one about the bishop and the imam? No? Well, it starts with a relationship that stretches back many years between Bishop Tim Stevens and Imam Ibrahim Mogra. And it's an important reminder at a time when the world can seem so divided that it's the conversations that we have with leaders, with people who have some fundamental core differences from ourselves that can be the source of the most important learning, personal insight and sometimes inspiration. Um, clearly, Tim's faith and my faith have many, many things in common. But at the core of both our faiths, uh, there are two or three differences which are absolutely significant. And I think for me, that's the core. That is, that is, a, that is a part of me which if I give up or if I change, means that I am not me anymore. And I'm something else. Uh, other than that, um, there are so many things where I actually look up to Tim to see what is it that I can learn from his practice and the teachings of his faith that I could add to my own practice and enhance the teachings of my own faith by contrasting or complementing with what Christianity has to offer. And I've found that uh, that has just propelled me to levels which I don't believe I would have been able to get to had I just restricted myself to simply my own faith and my own core. So by venturing further out, um, I have I've learned so much and enriched myself. And I, I, and I believe I've made myself far more effective in reaching out to the world than I could ever have been had I just kept myself to my core. And much of that is uh, true for me as well. Um, I think what strikes me, Ibrahim, is that although you and I would both have our core non-negotiable beliefs, which in my case have to do with uh, how we see God in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. Um, you represent to me a, a sort of question about that. And the question goes something like this. Given that my core is pretty clear to me, how is it that somebody who does not share that core clearly reveals holiness and something of God to me? So I think that... Um, a relationship with you and conversations with uh, people of your faith over many years here um, doesn't undermine the core, but it constantly puts it into a wider context. It constantly makes me have to revisit it and think, OK, what is it about holding on to this that really um, is essential? Uh, and, and how is it that somebody who does not hold on to shows in their own life the very qualities that I rather, I not only admire, but rather envy. And I think as a person who's a, a, a religious leader, what that does is make me realise that any claims I make about God are always somewhat partial. That God is in the end God and cannot be reduced to any formulas, however profound and however deep-seated I might live by. What a fascinating relationship. And it really makes me reflect on who in my network genuinely challenges my thinking. What about you? What about your network? Have you got a bishop? Have you got an imam? And what does it take to build these relationships that truly challenge us.